know more such amazing stories from Indian history, click the bell icon and subscribe to Live History India. On the 20th of October 1962, China's People's Liberation Army walked across the Himalayan border in Ladakh and crossed the McMohan Line in the eastern sector in Nefa, taking India completely by surprise. In the conflict that followed, India lost over 3,000 soldiers in a war that came to be known as the Indochina War and suffered a humiliating defeat. This 1962 war was an important marker in the making of modern India. But how did the two big neighbours, who had been close through the 1950s, come to this pass? In 1954, China and India had signed the famous Panchil Agreement based on the five principles of peaceful coexistence and non-interference. This is the famous photo of Chinese Premier Zhou Enlai with Indian Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, President Dr. Rajendra Prasad and Vice President Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan from the banquet at Rashtrapati Bhavan held in honour of Zhou in June 1954. However, the Panchil Agreement was signed even as issues on the border between India and China were contentious, a legacy of the colonial regime. The McMahon Line, the frontier between Tibet and Assam in British India, were negotiated between Tibet and Britain at the end of the Simla Convention in 1914. However, Chinese delegates refused to sign the principal agreement on the status and boundaries of Tibet on the ground that Tibet was subordinate to China and did not have the power to make treaties. Troubles in Tibet worsened the situation. In March 1959, the Tibetans rose against Chinese occupation. The Dalai Lama fled to India, where he was given asylum. China considered this as an interference in their internal affairs and thus a violation of the Panchil principles. Soon after, there were minor clashes between the Chinese and Indian troops patrolling the border. In August 1959, at Longju on the western edge of Nefa, now Arunachal Pradesh, and in October at Konkala on the Kashmiri Xinjiang frontier. Letters were exchanged between the two governments for negotiations, but the two neighbours could not find a common ground. Subsequently, both countries increased their patrolling along the borders. In November 1961, India adopted the forward policy, setting up many new outposts and pushing patrols as close as possible to the India-defined border in Ladakh and to the McMahon Line in Nefa. In turn, the Chinese set up posts opposite the Indian posts and at times even surrounded them. India's response was to order its troops to force a way through the Chinese encirclement. Various minor conflicts and military incidents between India and China were reported throughout the summer of 1962. Then, on the 20th of October 1962, the Chinese captured Indian posts in the Galwan Valley and threatened the Chushul airstrip, a strategically important site. Such aggression by China came as a shock to India, which had believed that China would at no cost choose to go to war. The Chinese forces made rapid advances into Indian territory over the next few days, forcing the Indian army to retreat as it was ill-prepared, poorly equipped and short on supplies. By October 24th, Chinese troops were 15 kilometers inside Indian territory when Zhou Enlai sent a letter to Nehru. He suggested disengagement along 20 kilometers and talks between the two prime ministers once again. Nehru rejected this proposal and wrote back saying, Nothing in my long political career has hurt and grieved me more than the fact that the hopes and aspirations for peaceful and friendly neighborly relations which we entertained should have been shattered by the hostile and unfriendly twist given in India-China relations during the past few years. The Indochina War lasted a month 
before China unilaterally declared a ceasefire on the 21st of November 1962, after India started receiving US military support. An additional factor, perhaps, was also the onset of winter. Both countries proposed to maintain the pre-war status quo along the borders for the time being, although the borders themselves continued to be defined as disputed. But the 1962 war was a jolt to India, leading to a complete overhaul of its defence policy. The Indochina War gave a push to the modernisation of the Indian Army, which intensified after the Indo-Pakistan War of 1965.